Pilots to the Imperial Navy Starfighter Training Program. Today, you will learn the basics of how to pilot a TIE Starfighter, the basics of energy management, and learn to engage enemy craft in an increasingly challenging series of targets. These skills are essential in performing your duties to serve and defend the interests of the Empire. You will begin by engaging several static targets. As the mission progresses, you will then engage a set of moving targets before finally engaging a set of actively hostile. In this mission, you will learn the basics of TIE Starfighter movement, energy management, Welcome pilots to the Imperial Navy. In this mission, you will learn the basics of TIE Starfighter movement, energy management, and combat. You will begin by... Bye. 
Well done. You've destroyed all of the containers. Now let's see how you fare against the moving target. Target mover one and engage it. Pressing the R key targets the nearest enemy. To match speed with the target, press the return or enter key. To make sharper turns, reduce your throttle to one third power. Your sensors show the relative location and distance of targets. The left hand sensor shows targets in front of you. The right hand sensor shows targets behind you. The brighter a dot is, the closer it is to you. Your current target will show as a large yellow dot. Good. Each new craft will become more difficult to target. Continue until all V-95s from Group Hoover are destroyed. Again, the difficulty will increase with each successive craft. As well as pressing the R key for targeting the nearest enemy fighter, you can also press the E key to target the nearest enemy attacking you. careful with head-on engagements. Without shields, your tie will always be at a disadvantage. Try to get behind your targets first. Alpha One, you have successfully grasped the basics. Quit now, or try your hand against larger waves of enemy craft. Be warned, the odds will steadily increase against you. quickly and have clearly shown you are capable of engaging enemy craft in combat. Proceed to your next mission. This mission will teach you the use of your short range sensors. Additional. In this mission, you will learn how to use your short range sensors to inspect a variety of craft. Pay attention, Gamma One, and check your surroundings. Your sensors show a number of craft are in the area. Remember, the brighter the sensor dot is, the closer it is to you. You can also toggle the in-flight map by pressing the M key. 
This can help you understand the current tactical situation and help you locate targets of importance or interest. Press the T key to target Shuttle Star Tour 7. Fly within 200 meters and perform your first inspection. Excellent. It carries repulsors as its manifest claims, so it may continue on its journey. Continue your inspection of the remaining ships. While cycling through targets using the T key is one method, alternatively, you can use the O key to target the nearest mission critical target. This will save you valuable time when finding important ships. Whilst you inspect these craft, let's take a look at your other terminal displays. On your right hand side is your mission goals display. On your left is your in-flight message log display. Both displays can be changed by using your cursor keys. Use the delete or page down keys to toggle between active displays. Use the left and right cursor keys to toggle between different information displays. This includes a damage report, active flight groups and additional wingman commands. Spend some time familiarizing yourself with these controls before completing your inspections. Hey one! Keep your distance! Illegal cargo found on container transport to Nida. Transports Epsilon have been dispatched to disable and border. K1, keep your distance.
Incoming rebel craft. Move to engage. Press the U key to target the newest craft to enter the sector. We have incoming X-wings and Y-wings. The X-wings will likely engage you and your wingmen. The Y-wings will attack the transport. You can direct your wingmen to engage certain targets. Select either an enemy X-wing or Y-wing and press Shift A. Your wingmen will now focus on their target. This allows you to focus on another target or to help concentrate your fire on a single target. This is three, engaging your target. Whoa! Destroy the rebel craft. Another bandit down. Keep it up. This is three. I'm hit. This is three. I'm heavily damaged. Oh no. We've lost three. If you see a wingman in trouble, you can target them and press shift E. They will then perform evasive maneuvers. Hey, one. You better shake that bandit off your six. Wow! Oh, good kill. Great shot. Keep it up! Keep it up! An A-Wing just jumped in. It's heading straight for you. Press the E key to target enemies that are attacking you. Use the Shift C keys to call for help from your wingmen. They will then engage any enemy craft attacking you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Another group of Y-Wings are incoming. Looks like they're targeting the platform. They'll be firing torpedoes. We must intercept them. Try to align yourself head-on with the incoming bombers. When they fire their torpedoes, they will show up as flashing yellow-red dots on your sensors. As the torpedoes approach you, attempt to shoot them down. If you miss any on your initial pass, come about and try to shoot the rest down. Bombers tend to launch at least two waves of torpedoes per run. By destroying as many as you can before they reach their target, you can make the difference between survival and destruction. Hey, one! Attacking craft dead ahead! Job Gamma 1, all enemy craft eliminated. Excellent. The last wave of enemy Y Wings have been eliminated. You may now return to the platform's hangar. Excellent. You have demonstrated the ability to inspect unknown craft to determine the contents of their cargo bays and learned how to use your wingman.